My name is Leonard Ray. I'm with Cisco's Cable Access Business Unit. And in this video, I'm going to walk you through an upgrade from a System Amp 2 or a System Amp 3 to a new 1 gigahertz capable Game Maker amplifier. The INO guide for both of these products can be found on our website, and I recommend you review those before attempting this procedure. This is a System 3 amplifier, but the System 2 and the System 3 amplifiers look the same. I'm moving this around, but in reality, this would be spliced in to your plant, and you would have existing RF cables connected to it, and those would remain connected throughout the drop-in upgrade process. The first step would be to remove the set screw on the hinge so that you can move the lid past 180 degrees and separate it from the base. This would be either strand mounted or in a cabinet. Once the lid is removed, there are four module retaining screws in the, mo in the RF module that need to be loosened. Once those screws are loosened, the RF module should remove from the base easily. The next step would be to remove the seizure screws in the SA2 or SA3 base and to replace those with the blue 15 amp power passing seizure screws. Now we're going to insert the new 1 gigahertz amplifier module. and tighten the four module retaining screws. Now we can attach our new lid that has a high efficiency power supply module. Again, we're going to move it to where it's past 180 degrees. And again, I'm picking it up, but in the field, this would be connected to your RF cables. Once the lid is connected, you can now reattach your power harness and attach your power cable. Once you connect the power supply, make sure that you remember to set the lockout voltage switch on your power supply for your system requirements. From here we want to make sure to add our power shunts, red indicating where your power is coming from, and then add any necessary pads and EQs again for your system requirement. The upgrade at this point is complete. And now you need to torque the housing closed according to the sequence that is die cast on the outside of the housing. 